Right, so this is basically another update now. The yard has just gone. Uh, decided not to do it. Uh, decided not to do it. Uh, but I'm going to show you what I've done instead. Um, now this is my dial box. And as you can see at the minute, all my models are in it. Um, I'll get to this one in a separate video. Um, but also I've got some new models. i got this CQ tractor and dump trailer there. Now I've weathered like dust on it. Uh, but this had damage to the back wheel of the weathering. Um, so basically I just decided to repaint re the wheels. Which I have done. Uh, this is a trailer. Now it's got no cylinders but it's quite stiff at the minute. So it will hold in a position. Now the reason why I got these were because I saw Volvo Masters 35 video on his old channel. The uh, Derek one. Um, of he has some of them and because I just decided to get one because I had enough money um, so I'm gonna get some more I'm gonna get the one which has a timber trailer which comes with a John Deere tra uh, tractor and then eventually I'm gonna get some more tractors and some more tipper bodies um, I also got that Emmy and tipper down there it's just a, another CQ model um, I'm swapping the cabs over at the minute, that's why that cab's loose. But, some people are probably wondering, well, where's all the dirt gone and where's the proper dial gone? There's only a bit of dirt there. Um, I haven't stopped with dials. I've got two dials now. This dial is going to be my storage yard. And the reason for this is because all the soil which gets into the models I can put them in here so the soil will fall off into here instead of going all over my room. Um, so, swing around and look at the new dial. Now, the new dial with the DA450 in looks small, but I think it's an alright size um, to have a dial. Now, it's just on a table made at school, put this edging on, and then silicone it so it doesn't leak the soil out. Um, but I actually prefer this to the other one because there isn't as much um, room but but also I'll just use um, a couple of models now I'm actually planning of just having this in my room and then every summer or summer I have a diet loads of stop motions or something outside in the garden um, but I'll show you my generator now, I know I've just said um, I wasn't going to show you it, but I thought I might as well because I'm here. Now, this is generator I made with some masking tape, um, not masking tape, two bit of plywood on um, the bottom and the top, these little squares. Um, I got them from my school, from an old, um, from my a train controller box, so train controller box, so standard thing I've just done. Basically, just a little bit so cut off. Um, so I made them into square little squares um, and put cardboard round the sides and then just covered it in masking tape to give it a texture. Then sprayed it grey and then made using PowerPoint, Microsoft PowerPoint, made some grills and door, a door and a Honda sign um, and nothing else on it. Now on the top we've got an exhaust and a grill and then two lifting hooks. Now the lifting hooks are just simply staples um, which are all stuck together because that's how they come to put into a stapler. Um, I just broke some off the length of it I have. And the exhaust and grill came off an old 130 second scale trailer I had um, which I don't really use anymore so I nabbed the exhaust and the grill off it because it was a 132nd scale generator well a uh, rock drill generator thing um, but I do like this and it's got quite a few quite a weight to it so I'm gonna buy a crane soon so I can put use this as a load um, but for now I'm just gonna do it so I'm not one of my existing fleet can pick it up um, but that's really it